Hi. Let's discuss a small concept in uh, respiratory physiology. It's the ventilation perfusion ratio. The concept is something like this. There is ventilation of air in the alveoli. The lungs have million of alveoli and uh, they have air ventilating in and out of them. And there is blood perfusion to those alveoli for the sake of gas exchange. So this relationship, this ratio of air ventilating the alveoli and the blood perfusion to those alveoli, that is called as the ventilation perfusion ratio, uh, commonly called as V to Q ratio. So what is this ratio? Before we understand this, let's uh, understand the alveolar ventilation per minute. We inspire 500 ml of air, which is called as uh, tidal volume. And out of this tidal volume of uh, 500 ml, roughly about 350 ml reaches the alveoli because out of the 500 ml, 150 ml stays in the dead space, never reaches the alveoli. And that means 350 ml air reaches the alveoli with each breath. And if we take such 12 to 14 breaths per minute, then how much air will ventilate the alveoli every minute? That's called as alveolar ventilation. It is roughly about 4 to 4.2 liters per minute. This is the alveolar ventilation. Now, how much is the blood perfusion to these alveoli? This much air is ventilating the alveoli every minute. How much is the blood perfusion to those alveoli? Same as the cardiac output because um, right ventricle will pump out 5 liters of blood which will go through the lungs and uh, take the oxygen uh, from the alveoli. So uh, blood perfusion in the lungs would be 5 liters per minute and therefore ventilation to perfusion ratio would be uh, 4 liters per minute is the alveolar ventilation and 5 liters per minute is the blood perfusion to those alveoli. So the ventilation perfusion ratio is 4 upon 5 and that is 0 0.8. Now this is an averaged out value because in the upright posture the gravity is going to have uh, influence on the ventilation and perfusion ratio. So let's understand the effect of gravity on ventilation perfusion ratio. In the upright posture, there are two scenarios which get created due to the gravity. One at the apex and one at the base. This is in the upright posture. What happens at the apex? At the apex, ventilation is good, but the blood perfusion to those alveoli is relatively less because in the upright posture, when heart is pumping the blood uh, against gravity, toward the apex. So just to, to show diagrammatically, heart is pumping the blood toward the apex against gravity. And therefore what happens is the blood flow is relatively less. So ventilation is good but perfusion is less. That means what happens to the ventilation perfusion ratio? It becomes higher than 0.8. It is 3.5 at the apex. And this scenario is called as physiologic dead space. This is physiologic dead space. 
why it's called physiologic dead space because there is ventilation but there is no enough blood perfusion to match it that means the ventilation is wasted if there is no blood flow no, no blood perfusion the ventilation will be wasted no picking up of oxygen and it's a wasted ventilation that's why it's called as physiologic dead space so the point is physiologic dead space normally occurs at the apex of the lung in the upright posture the second scenario is at the base at the base of the lung look what happens at the base of the lung now let's first talk about ventilation compared to the apex ventilation is slightly greater at the base if we move from apex to base what happens to the ventilation ventilation is slightly greater slightly higher but what happens to the perfusion as you move from apex to base perfusion increases tremendously as compared to apex because now the heart is pumping towards gravity this is just a diagrammatic representation i repeat again heart is pumping towards gravity when it pumps towards the base and therefore uh, what happens here is blood flow blood perfusion increases tremendously near the base of the lung so much so that now the ventilation perfusion ratio will be reversed this relationship will be reversed and uh, as you can see denominator is much higher as compared to the numerator and therefore ventilation perfusion ratio is less it's 0.5 0.5 at the very base of the lung and this scenario is called as physiologic shunt this is called as physiologic shunt what is the meaning of that it means there is blood flow but there is no enough ventilation to match it therefore the blood is shunted past the alveoli without picking up oxygen that is the meaning of physiologic shunt so physiologic shunt normally occurs near the base of the lung and uh, these are the uh, two effects or scenarios created by the gravity when a person is in upright posture and therefore uh, there is a simple question what will be the ventilation perfusion ratio in the space in the in a space craft the point is when there is weightlessness as in the space or space craft there wouldn't be the effect of gravity there wouldn't be uh, uh, the influence of gravity on the ventilation as well as perfusion let me just quickly summarize what will happen in the weightlessness or zero gravity in the space craft Uh, first of all due to the gravity what happens normally uh, on the earth is that there is a weight of the lungs and due to the weight of the lungs the alveoli near the base they are they will be compressed because of the weight of the lungs now this uh, will be avoided or this will not happen in the weightlessness Uh, or in the space craft in the zero gravity the alveoli near the base will not be compressed and the second thing that happens with the weightlessness is on the earth the effect of gravity causes the blood to be pooled in the lower extremities so venous return to the heart and therefore blood flow uh, in the lungs also would be affected in the zero gravity or in the weightlessness or in the space craft uh, more and more blood will return to the heart and blood flow to the apex also will increase blood flow blood perfusion to the apex will also increase as there is no effect of gravity anymore so uh, these two um, would be the influences or rather uh, changes with weightlessness 
uh, on the alveolar ventilation and blood perfusion. However, the point, simple point is that if there is no weight, no gravity or in the spacecraft, what will be the ventilation perfusion ratio? It will be 0 0.8. Look, these scenarios were created by the gravity. If there is no gravity, there is weightlessness, then the ventilation perfusion ratio would be 0 0.8. 